What you think? You think I should call her? We need to cancel. We're working on the announcement now. I have spent thousands of dollars, child. What's up CEOs, Coach Nick here. I wanted to come on and just let you all know a little bit about what this video is about. So um, a couple of months ago, I went to Orlando to participate in an event for Juneteenth weekend to promote my business. We were a vendor at the event. We decided to film it and turn it into a vlog so that you could see the behind the scenes of what it takes to become a vendor at an event and to promote your business. And um, we had a hiccup, which you will see all about. Um, the event almost got shut down and I was a little nervous, but you'll see how the end result is. It should be some great content and valuable for you and definitely some lessons. So I hope you enjoy. What's up y'all, get into my outfit. Y'all like my outfit? So my client, Shay, is also my god sister. Um, we started working on her business when she was selling plates out of her house. And now she has a restaurant at the hall on the yard here in Orlando. We're going to visit her. So the concept is, it's like a, well, it's a food hall, essentially. A food hall, but like an up, up scale, elevated type food experience. So I'm sitting at the bar waiting for Shay now. She's getting her orders out of the way, but this is such a great concept because there's different restaurants here. And um, again, it just provides like an overall experience, right? Like I'm all about experience. And so, you know, I guess what I want everyone to take away from is that, you know, in order for her to get here, as far as like having a restaurant and being connected, and I mean, it's just beautiful. Um, she had to start, right? She started with selling meals out of her house uh, with her recipes, then elevated to a food truck and then elevated to a restaurant, which is this concept, which is amazing. And I'm for sure it is less expensive than going all in on a building on your own, as opposed to going in uh, like at an actual food hall. So this is amazing. I love seeing my clients thrive. I remember when she was saying that she wanted to open a restaurant and um, you know, when you're early on in the stages, it's kind of like an unreachable, goal that you feel like it is, but this is a true testament that you can do anything you put your mind to and when you put the work in, you reap the benefits and your dream and vision will come to reality. So I'm going to order some food and catch up with my good friend. We're also doing the um, also doing the business dinner here. So I'm doing a six figure blueprint business dinner mastermind, which I'm going to show you guys um, some more of that and it's gonna be great. It's gonna be here, the restaurant's gonna be shut down, and we're gonna eat from Shade's Kitchen, and uh, it, should be, it should be a good time, so peace out for now. What do you think we lack when it comes to people trying to find mentorships or mentors? I feel like it's, I feel like it's what you said, like authenticity, like being transparent. So we started this, we started this, this scene back because I was just talking about my story, how I moved from Miami to Atlanta and I fell to rock bottom, taking cold showers, eviction notices on the door. Like it, it had got, it had got bad. It had got really bad. And I was asking God at the time, like, why am I going through this? You know, you, I feel like when you're in your season, you feel like, well, what's the purpose of this? Like there has to be a purpose of all of this. And now I'm able to relate to people who are going through that same thing who are at their rock bottom moment and they just really want to make their idea and their vision work. You know what I'm saying? Like you're an entrepreneur, so you know like um, your business is like your baby and you just want to make it work. Um, oh. Rain or shine, there will be no refunds. <laughs> so we ready for rain and shine. What you think? You think I should call her? Just do it! Sure, 
I did. <laughs> when, <laughs> when I didn't know where to go or anything, it's better you know now than yeah. you get all these stuff in last minute. Oh, it's canceled. You know, you could pivot how you want this blog, uh, blog to be and it could be a conversational piece. You know what right. I mean? I'm going to continue on until they, until they send a notice saying, oh, we got to cancel it. I'm just going to continue to get stuff just so we're ready. And then maybe, maybe they would be open to, for the vendors, they have a brunch tomorrow. Maybe they would be oh, open true. to us taking advantage of the brunch because I'm for sure that's inside. We'll see. I'm going to go in and get this iPad. Shay called me while I was in the store. I got a little nervous, a little gut drop. We're going to see what, what's going on. Hey. Hey, man. What's up, boo? Did you talk to anybody? No, I tried to call Nakisha, but she didn't answer. Yeah. So they, so they said they for sure canceling it. From the text that I just got from this girl, hold on. I said, um, good morning. Is the block party still happening? I have a food truck coming in the place of my food truck. And I don't know if I should tell them not to come or go ahead and head that way. She said, I just got word we need to cancel. We're working on the announcement now. Child, I have but spent- like raining. I was just telling Vanessa, uh -huh. I have spent thousands of dollars, child. Just on everything put together. So hopefully, hopefully if they, hopefully if they can't, if they cancel today, then they at least let the vendors come tomorrow at the, at the brunch event. Oh, they got a brunch event tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, because y'all did say rain and shine, and I literally bought ponchos in case it was rain and not shine. So, like, we ready for the rain. So, all right, well, I'm going to keep a lookout, and I'm on my way over there now to see if, see if they have anything set up. But I guess I'll let you know if I find out something, you let me know if I do hit you back. Okay. All right. All right, bye. emotions right now irritated i mean weather is an act of god right so like it's not it's not the organizer's fault but i do feel like because i used to be an event planner you have when you have vendors you gotta make calls early yeah and there should have been a plan b mm. because the email that we got said the first thing it said was rain or shine this event is happening and there's no refunds which, okay, communicate that there's no refunds, but also communicate, here's the plan B in case all hell breaks loose. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, in case it rains and we can't be outside, like, you know, we got a gymnasium or, you know, like, here's, here's the backup plan. There's no backup plan. So it's like, yeah, the table only costs a certain amount, but you don't just pay, you don't just pay the amount for the table. Like, right. you know, I, I have marketing material. Right. Your I'm products. Paying, I'm paying <laughs> to video to video and record the situation. My folks who's coming out to help me. So, you know, um, but I'm, I also have a different mindset because there's an abundance of money. That money will come back to me. But, you know, it's just pretty frustrating that we were supposed to start moving in at 12. Here it is, 12.44, and we have not heard anything. Shay calls me in the car. She's like, did you hear about the event? I'm like, no. Like, what's going on? Mm -hmm. And so she says, um, she was like, well, I think it may be canceled because of the rain and da 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 da. Oh. And mind you, this was at, what time was that? Um, and that sounds like 12.45. Yeah. Mind you, the, we were, the vendors area was supposed to open at 12 o'clock. Right. So I'm like, well, they haven't sent any notification out. So I'm just gonna continue on like, it is what it is. Like, you know, like they're in their email, their email was, um, 
rain or shine, this event's gonna happen and there's no refunds. I'm imagining this is the rain. <laughs> right. I got, I got ponchos. I got ponchos. I'm ready to go. Right. So then, so Shay said, because Shay had somebody else go mm -hmm. uh, to the event for her. She was like, well, you know, they're there and yeah. they're getting on the way. So I'm like, I'm finna pull up too. She was like, I'm finna pull up too and see what's going on. Because they had communicated out. But then they just sent out an email to everybody like, maybe 10 minutes ago that the event was canceled. I spent thousands, uh, <laughs> thousands oh, I <laughs> of dollars. But I'm not, you know, in the same instance of trying to coach myself, stay positive, money is, right. ab money is abundant, and that money will replenish itself. But I'm watching how, they, how they're gonna respond um, about this because there has to be some sort of solution. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. hey, we got a brunch event tomorrow that y'all can come to and be a vendor on. Like, right. that's how many attendees we have. Or we'll put together a marketing campaign and email out to our marketing list. Like, something has to come out of it other than yeah. no refunds. Because yeah. that's what y'all highlighted in your, in your email. But So no event today, which also means maybe no event on Monday. As far as the business dinner, because oh, right. we we're gonna because leverage we're gonna that to advertise. Okay, right. Okay. These things happen. I guess I'll show y'all what we what I had anyway. So this is what could have been. We're gonna we're gonna keep it moving. So I wanted to show y'all the table set up, so you at least see like the strategy. So like I had the two um two pop up banners. Those would have been like outside of the tent, so people would see them as they're walking past. And then we have on um, the 90 day launch plan, which on the front, it's, is that close enough? Okay. Front, it's a 90 day launch plan. And then on the back is a call to action. Again, this goes to my calendar so I can get leads. Then we have brochures again, just highlighting our little mantra, which is 10K in 90 days or less, with some testimonials, how we, you know, the strategy behind the three-phase launch formula, how you can work with us. And then again, this goes to my calendar. So like the goal, so the goal for like a product, because when I say you did products, you do products at like yours, it's a sale on site. But when you're doing a service that's also a premium, Typically, you would not try to sell that at a booth unless you're at a super targeted event. Like, if I'm at an event where people are there to learn how to be an entrepreneur, right. then maybe I'd be like, okay, it's two to $3,000, right? But if I'm at an event where people are not doing it, they're having a good time, my goal is to, let's book a time, let's book a call, where you can be concentrated and focused and I can go over everything. So, that's the strategy. Then we have like these pop sockets, which goes on the back of people's phones. And it has my logo and my website. These was not gonna be blank, y'all. So they were gonna um, we we're gonna uh, have stuff in here with the QR code, like the business center and the giveaway. Um, some candy. Got this with my logo and this cute little plant to kind of offset everything. So it looks a little jumbled right now because this is smaller than the regular table, but the regular table, it would have been evenly spread out and kind of, you know, clean and crisp. Okay, so I wanted to know what is your brand marketing with behind the colors of your business? Is there a yeah. strategy behind it or is like, oh, those are my favorite colors? No. So, I mean, they are two of my favorite colors, black and gold, you know, Alpha Phi Alpha. But the reason we chose this, this yellow, this particular yellow, is because it stands out. And so like, again, if you're looking at all the booths, like, you know, people are not going to have like that this yellow bright color. yellow color, which is why these would have been on the outside of the tent. So it could have been like, um, like for instance, if you're walking around with one of these shirts and somebody's like, oh, where's your tent? It's the yellow tent, right? And to be honest, if I could, if I had more time, I would have bought an actual yellow tent so that mm -hmm. it would stick out like a sore thumb. So that's what marketing is all about. It's about how you stand out uh, away from the noise in the middle of everybody so that people recognize you. So we got that. That would have attracted them in. Uh, we got the giveaway, which would have encouraged them to give us 
their name and email. Hmm? Oh no, that's hers. Oh. The giveaway was an iPad and two hundred dollar gift cards. Oh, yeah, that's right. So we got that, and then of course, those who are seriously interested in like working with us, then they would obviously ask, and we'd be interacting with them. But we go, well, hey, scan the QR code, book a call, and we could talk about you know your journey to entrepreneurship and how we can support that. What's up, y'all? So I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys. So we just got an email saying that the event is back on for tomorrow. So. <laughs> Now I have to go in and fix my funnel because the person who was building my funnel fell sick at the last minute. So I have to go in and do that and just make sure that we're all good for tomorrow. But we're gonna see how this goes. We are on the way to the Juneteenth event. It got rescheduled. I think I made a video saying that, but yesterday got canceled because of the weather, uh, you know, but we was keeping faith and then ended up uh, rescheduling the event for today. So we're, we are on the way to go now, so I'm just gonna, woo, just gonna talk um, Haley through what we're doing today at the tent. Also, so you guys can know what we're doing too in the strategy happens. So, you know, we have three different goals. So number one is to get leads, and um, how we're gonna do that is the giveaway. So we're giving away one iPad and um, two $100 gift cards. Now the I have some printouts to go inside of the um, frames, which we'll have to cut out when we get there. And they have the QR code for the giveaway. So like, I just want to make impact. Even if somebody comes to the booth and they have a conversation and they get some hope, they get some encouragement to go out and do something on their own and create something and build their empire and, gener and build generational wealth, like to me, that's a little So I walked around to like all the other vendors to network and connect and hand out my information. Mm -hmm. And if I were to do it differently, I think I would have made flyers to the business dinner and given those to the vendors because they would have like that, that would have been right up their alley. Like right. when I was Makes talking sense. to them, I was helping them with like challenges in their business. Cause like one of my things that I talk about, which everybody can learn from this, like have a stable question mm. when you're networking. It's like, oh, well, like, what's the biggest challenge in your business? Or, you know, where are you looking to take your business? Um, and, like, I would help them through their challenges and stuff. Mm -hmm. So they were like, oh, yeah, I need to talk to you. So that was a that was a win. I still gave some collateral out. The wind. Oh, Lord. I almost took us Let me tell out. you. I almost don't want to do no doggone outside, outside. events mm -hmm. anymore. I think that was good that we, like, tripled tied it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it helped a lot. And the freaking pole broke, so now I have to order another one of those, but um, outside of the wind, outside of it being on a different day, and there's not, not being like a lot of people there, or as many people as it would have been on Thursday, I think it would be good. Yeah. What did you think? And I like, um, I think that there were a lot of people that think that they could benefit from the did business. You? 
um, they think that they can benefit from the business. So mm-hmm. that was um, a good thing. Like people were like when you were talking and explaining everything, people really looked interested. Like they were asking questions and they were really engaged. That alone, I think, was a good turnout. Okay, so you got a chance to see me in action, like talking to people, engage with people, and talking about my business. Mm-hmm. Give me feedback, like, what did you like? What do you think I could have done better? I'm gonna be honest. I really don't know what you could have done better because you um, pretty much captured everything that you wanted to, or well, what we discussed um, prior to getting to the event. Um, and like I said, you really, really, really was able to connect with people and they really seemed engaged um even people that were walking by that <clears throat> um at first you, they looked like they wanted to continue walking and then you said something you would say something about like oh the um giveaway and then you'll tap the ipad and they're like oh mm-hmm. now let me turn around now i'm more engaged so i think um i really don't know what you could have done better because i'm still learning myself i think you did very well like I said, I was just intrigued with how much people were able to connect with you. So, mm-hmm. And the thing is, there was people who were interested in entrepreneurship. Right. Yeah, exactly. And I, I don't work too hard. Like, I, if you say you're not interested, I'm going to try maybe once. Right. To be like, oh, well, maybe you should attend the webinar and just see if you're interested. And then there were some people after that that was like, you know, like, starting to kind of blow me off. Like, oh. I'm fine with my nine to five and da da da. Which is cool. Entrepreneurship ain't for everybody. Right. You know, some people don't mind going to a nine to five for the rest of their life. And that's mm-hmm. fine. Um, and some people want to start their businesses, which is cool. Which goes back to the lesson that not everyone's going to say yes to you. But somebody right. will say yes. So you just gotta get through the nose. So Right. So the verdict is in. I've done the counts. We got a total of 52 people entered into the giveaway. 52 people. I didn't even realize it was that many people. Me either. I wanted a lot more, but again, for the people, for the for amount the of people, people that, that came, came today, yeah. Like that's a that's good. We got 52 people who entered the giveaway, and all the automations worked, so everybody got their emails. And wow, I'm looking at people who opened their emails, so that's good. That's really good. Ooh, okay, so that was a... So I hope that through my journey, you were able to see how something like this is possible for you. You may have events in the area that you can attend as a vendor, and it's gonna be important that you leverage those and take advantage of those. I believe that in-person connection is stronger sometimes in some instances than virtual connection. And so there's a couple of lessons from this that um, I took away and I hope that you took away. Lesson number one is to stay in high vibration. Sometimes things may not go as planned and it may seem chaotic, but what's super important is that you stay in high vibration because I'm a believer that the energy you put out is the energy that is attracted to you. And so there were times where, yeah, I was a little nervous that the event was actually canceled and I didn't know what, what was going to come out of it. I checked myself real quick and coached myself because if that was the energy that I put out there, then maybe the solution that came about would not have. So lesson number two is have a strategy. You want to have branding that grabs people's attention and that stands out. You want to have something that keeps the WIFM, what's in it for me in mind. And for us, that was, so the branding was the um, yellow from our, from our brand colors. And then the what's in it for me was the giveaway so that we could at least get people's um, contact info so we can follow up with them. And then also take people through a journey. So you want to, you definitely want to make sure that people are in a buying situation or in a buying mindset when you get ready to pitch your services. So some events, um, and depending on your price point and what the event's about, you may be able to pitch your services right there on the spot if you have people who are interested. The reason we didn't necessarily take that route up front is because the reason we did not take that route to begin with is because this event was a community Juneteenth event. And so it wasn't necessarily geared towards entrepreneurs um, or people who were who are interested in entrepreneurship just in general. And so we chose to go the route of bringing them to a call, bringing them to the webinar and closing them either on the webinar or on a call. Um, so you'll have to make the determination of what that looks like for your business. We did make ROI, um, over double our ROI. So we ended up closing 
about, uh, I want to say like $6,200. So $6,200, a little bit over that when all was said and done. And then we spent about a little bit over $3,000. So we made back what we invested plus plus profit. So in and that three thousand dollars covered the amount that it took to get for the table, um, some collateral, we had to pay the videographer and uh, all the other stuff that it takes to put together to make everything flow. So oh, and that that was lesson number three was do what you can to remain profitable and um, to do what you must. So even if we would have only got. I mean, we only had, I believe, like 50 uh, people opt in, which again, we brought them to the webinar, but I didn't leave it to chance because the numbers were small. I was like, okay, so we have to do more activity in other places. So, you know, whether that was me doing follow up calls and trying to get people on a call and just staying connected with people, we had email sequences and stuff. So, another thing that we do too, the events that we go to, typically we try to stay with the events that people have to pay to get up, be a part of because if they've invested in the event then you know the idea is that they're they'll be willing to invest or they have the ability to to invest in other things that they see value in so that's all for now uh until next time peace out did you like that episode not only do i want you to click like and subscribe but i want you to binge watch the next episode right here